Hello again and welcome back to my channel, uh, Mark Riddell Creations. Um, he, okay, let me explain what's happened. I put out three videos and I was listening to some music while I was painting and uh, apparently that was a no-no because my video picked up the music and it's patented. So I had to pull those videos off. So we're going to do them again and our first painting today we're going to do a traveling funnel and we're going to have uh, this color for our base coat. It's a ocean blue by, um, by Deco Art. And in the middle, we're going to have white by Simply Acrylics. So it'll be ocean blue, white, and ocean blue. And then we're going to travel, put a funnel here, layer our colors in it, and then we're going to travel that funnel to the length on both sides. And all my colors will have silicone in it, which is this stuff right here. I don't know if you can see that good. But it's... um. It's coconut milk anti-breakage serum. And you get the I get this at Walmart. Okay. So so since I couldn't do any music and listen to it, um I am a musician, so uh I'm gonna bug y'all and play some of my own original music so you have something to listen to while we're doing the video. Anyway. Let's get to it. Okay. First we're gonna put down our base. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Actually, it's evening for me. But I wanted to come out here and get this video back out for you guys. Uh, I think you'll like this. This is a pretty fun style of painting. Uh, I haven't got a lot of experience with this type of painting. I, I like the Shiliar Bloom Technique, and, and I use that recipe for most of my stuff, but this is very fun, so we're going to have some fun with it and see what we can create here. Guess what I forgot? My gloves. I forgot my gloves. I'll have to. You know what? I think I'll just be very careful when we're trying to do this without gloves. I'm out of gloves out here. I have to go in the house to get more. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. In my band, I'm a drummer, and <laughs> but I do like to play around with guitar and stuff. This is all me. I have a little drum machine going, and I put a little guitar track, a rhythm track down, and, and then I come back and I recorded the lead over the top of it. I hope y'all are liking it. I hope it's not bugging you. Um. If you like it or dislike it, uh, let me know something in the uh, description. Will you leave a comment? I would love to hear what you 
what you think about it. Would you rather watch the videos with no music or? This piece, we're really not going to tilt it or anything once we get it painted. I'm hoping. I guess y'all can see my nappy old head. Excuse it. <laughs> got home from work a little bit ago. All right. Here we have our blade. Now we're going to lay down our white. And this is just plain old white by Simply Acrylics. That might be too much, but we'll pour some off. No biggie. All right. Got a little blue off in there, but you know what? We wanted to do that, right? I'd like to put a shout out to Karen with Waterfall Acrylics. You she helped me make some decisions on some what resin I'm going to be using, and uh, I'd like to thank you for the advice you gave. Uh, it's exactly what I thought I was going to do, so. base coat down. Uh, we're going to torch this, get rid of all these air bubbles. Sometimes I use my heat gun just to get rid of the air bubbles, but I don't want to have to plug it up. <laughs> so it's not plugged up right now. So we're just going to use a torch. All right. All right, I think all our air bubbles are gone. Okay. You know what? This is a well. You know, nah, we'll get a I 
and just a little silicone funnel real easy to clean up afterwards so what we're going to do is we're going to lay our funnel down put our colors in it and then we're going to travel the funnel on both sides i'm going to start right here first color I'm putting in is going to be the deep yellow by Sim Simply Acrylics. Then we're going to do the pink flash color shift paint by Folk Art. We're going to do our phthalo blue from Liquitex. This is Aqua Flash Color Shift Paint by Folk Art. And this is Plum Flash by Folk Art Color Shift Paint. I like to I like to put a stick down in there and kind of do that a little bit. Okay, let's do our travel. We don't want a lot of paint on here, so when we do our travel, you know what? Uh, let me let me hold this real quick. I want to tilt some of this paint off. Excuse that. <laughs> Let's tilt some of this paint off real quick. Yeah, I got... See, I got too big a hurry. <laughs> I was wanting to do the fun part before I did the important part. You don't want a whole lot of paint left on your canvas. So you try to pour all the excess off that you can. All right, I think that'll be all right. gonna travel our funnel. You ready? Let's travel. Now this funnel has a really small hole in it. So it'll take a little while to get it all out. But, you have a lot of paint on, it it will spread out and you'll have too much. So it's, when I do this kind of stuff, I found it better to put, you know, not a whole lot of paint on your colors. They're gonna go a long way. All right, we got that one done. We're gonna do this other side the same way. Start with our deep yellow. We're simply acrylics. Uh, I forgot what this was. Something flash. Red flash or something. Pop art. Thalo blue. Liquitex. Folk art, aqua flash, and folk art, plum flash. And 
and let's travel. And this paint's a little thicker than normal. Um, I like to make it a little thicker because I think it gives the cells a little bit more strength. then what I like to do now is we're going to take a straw I'm going to blow all these edges out with a straw and uh, we'll see what we get I like to use these metal straws here. They, they, I, they work pretty good.
Hope I'm not getting my head in there where y'all can't see nothing. But these little paintings here, they're, they're very fun to do. And, and man, they do look pretty cool. I probably should have put some brighter colors mixed off with this. Um, I thought it'd come out a little brighter. The uh, yellow and that color shift paint, we'll see how it how it acts after it dries. Could have used a little light lime green or something. No. What do you guys think? In the description, leave a comment on what color palettes you would be interested in seeing. And we'll get to it. Okay. How do you like it so far? I like it. It's, it's blue, <laughs> but I like blue. I'm trying to make these wisps kind of work together on both sides. Second, and I'll give you a close up of it. 
get a little bit of this evened out here. Okay. I'm going to torch this again. Okay. What do you think? Let me get you a close up so you can see it a little better. Flip it around, I'll show you the other side. Well, uh, I hope you had fun with this one. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. We'll see how it dries after it's dried. I'll I'll give you another look at it once it gets dried, and then if I like it, I will probably resin it, and we'll show another another picture of it after it gets resin. But uh, as always, thank you so much for coming and visiting my channel. Thank you for your time. I uh, appreciate. Uh, any kind of info or directions you want to leave in the comments um, as always uh, have a great afternoon evening and uh, God bless and we'll see you next time bye bye